Hey guys, Matt McKeever here. So I'm just on my way actually right now walking to the Millennial Network Group Meetup, MNG for short. They're sprinkled around Ontario, but specifically I'm going to the one in London, Ontario. I've been to a few others in the past. I figured now that I'm trying to do a video every day in August, why not make a quick little video about the value of networking and the value of uh, giving just random networks a shot. So I've been to a couple of them. Uh, I've enjoyed going to them so far. Now, before we get too deep into the MNG Meetup, I know that there's a few people uh, on my YouTube channel slash uh, a few London on Fire guys. They would think this is really unfrugal, paying five or ten dollars to go to a networking event. I completely understand it. Um, that being said, I think you're still doing yourself a disservice if you don't essentially give every networking opportunity at least one shot. And so even if you end up paying five or ten dollars to go to one meeting, you don't have to make that a habit. You can still use that as a springboard and just try and maximize the value you get from these networking opportunities. Again, probably in most cases, the first couple times coming out to a networking group is when you're gonna really get a, a fair bit of the value from it, um, just because it's gonna be a whole new spectrum of people you haven't met in the past. And so there's a ton of value in doing that. And that's essentially what I'm doing tonight at uh, this MNG meetup. Cody, who's the uh, London, Ontario MNG guy, he's super friendly, very sharp, and uh, very young and motivated. So you guys know I'm always saying that you need to surround yourself with like-minded individuals. So I think you can definitely do a lot worse than uh, doing it at the MNG meetup group. All right, well, uh, I'm running short on time, so I'm gonna wrap this up, but yeah. London chapter for Millennial Network Group. Uh, just basically want to give you guys a quick intro onto what exactly it is that we do here at MNG. Uh, what I found, guys, and I'll explain the story on how we kind of got started. Basically, we were founded in Brantford, Ontario. We were founded on the concept that it's very hard for young professionals to get credibility when it comes to networking. Um, I found on a personal level it was very hard for me to communicate with my peers and those other members of the networking group. Uh, because it was hard to get professional credibility. Uh, so what we found was is that there's a huge stigma that's wrapped around our generation that kind of ties millennials to who we are, and that's that we're entitled, that's that we're spoiled, uh, and that's that we're lazy. And uh, the reality of it is, guys, is well, we all made it out on time. You guys are all here. We're at the event. Um, and everyone here has something to offer. Everyone here either has a business, either surrounds themselves with motivated individuals, um, or has goals in general, and that's what this really speaks to. That's what the group is all about. Uh, very organic style networking is what we were founded on, um, and that's building relationship first. I understood, guys, that if we can provide value for our members first, without asking for something in return, are you guys not gonna be a lot more susceptible to providing value for me or providing value for the other members in our group? Um, and I think that's something that's really, it, we've gotten away from it over the past 30 years when it comes to looking at business in general. Back in the day, guys, you know, you used to have a barber shop that used to sit on the corner uh, and you used to have another business that sat on the other corner. Those businesses promoted each other. Those businesses said, you need to go over to Luigi's Pizza across the street because they have the best pizza in town. That's changed. We live in a society, guys, where social media it controls the majority of our lives. Now, mind you, whether you do it productively and it's for business or whether you do it personally, the point is, is that we are sort of ingrained in a society where we seem to think that we need to do everything on our own. Uh, but the reality, the reality of it is that by creating this environment, by having people out to events like this, it shows right off the bat in real time that we can all do something together. We can create that movement, we can create that impact, and we can reduce the stigma that we are as a generation entitled, spoiled, and lazy. Um, I'm gonna bring up our first speaker of the night. Basically, I don't have a lot of value to offer besides whatever kind of comes to my head in that moment. Um, so I'm gonna keep my speeches very short. I'm gonna kind of act like an MC for the night, but we're gonna bring up uh, Jamie Lee. Uh, she is our, our our representative here with Youth Opportunities Unlimited. They are who we are teaming up with this month to do this big community event. Um, as well as London Brewing Club, want to give a quick shout out to them. Thank you guys so much for coming and serving this awesome alcohol and making it a great time. Uh, but I want to bring up Jamie Lee. Uh, she's with YOU, she's my point of contact. Um, I just want to say a few quick things. Uh, we met 